Hello everybody, this is your mommy speaking, and we are back on Dishonored, and I decided that this screen is probably a better one to uh, start off an episode on, because I actually get reminded what I did last time, and you know, having the memory of like a few days ago, I mean, I can't remember everything that happened, other than the fact that we utterly screwed up twice, having to rerun an entire area, and you know going through the same area of my own accord three or four times, I don't remember. But uh, in the last episode, aside from all that, we uh, escaped our prison, dealt with rats, and am now, or now, are now, not am now, are now at a river. With this guy. In a boat. And we no longer have to be in the sewers. So we're good. Right? Right? I remember how to play, right? Yeah. Get in. We've got a hot meal and a warm bed waiting for you. Uh, is it made out of rat fur? Story, story time, story time. Oh, oh. So that was a mission. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Hostiles killed. So I killed eight people there, not nine. I miscounted. I am sorry. Uh, we didn't kill civilians, which is good. Because they probably, I'm guessing, will later alert the guards. Which is why there's alarms rung. So they probably ring alarms. Dead or unconscious bodies. Uh, yeah, the random ones I left strewn about probably did that. Overall chaos high. That's probably from <laughs> screwing around. Oh my god, I found like 633 coins. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, apparently I didn't do as well as I thought I did. I thought I did okay at finding things, but, uh, I missed a lot of money. Probably from that one safe. Uh, think about it. Hidden in an old bar on the river, your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyalists' inner circle to learn what they've got in mind. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm probably going to come back, maybe after I finish the game, Maybe at another point and just rerun the missions quickly and grab as, or maybe not quickly, but grab everything that I can, like fast forward it and like actually try to get everything. I don't know. I'm a sucker for 100%ing things, except I never actually do it. But story time, guys! This is the Hound Pits pub closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Huh. Can I steal the boat? Achievement unlocked. Dishonored. Uh, yeah, I got dishonored. Notes. Uh, none of that. Uh, wait, J. That's J. Yay! Samuel the Boatman has smuggled you across the river from Coldridge Prison. He works for an underground movement opposed to the illegal reign of the Lord Regent and has brought you to meet the members of the organization. No mission items, tasks. Meet with the loyalists in the bar. Uh, I'm not old enough to go in a bar, thank you. Ew. Can I just... Can I kill him? Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, I hear electricity. Everything okay in there? I'm not gonna question it. Hey, buddy. How are you? I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. Uh, 
Nope, can't see anything there. Money? Now I'm gonna end up checking for money everywhere. Though a lot of the money I or some of the money I probably missed. Oh man. Uh hey you. Put that stuff away. We don't need that out. Um A lot of the money I probably missed was off of pickpocketing guards, to be honest. Why do I feel like that barrel might explode? No, that's whiskey. Eh, that might explode. Anyway. I feel like I've screwed around enough. Can I open this? Hey, Welcome guys. Welcome to the Hound Pit Pub, sir. How may I help? Hello, sir. I am Wallace, and this is Cecilia. We have been informed of your arrival and will do our best to stay out of your way while you conduct your business. Yes. Lydia's a servant here as well. Huh. Uh, that doesn't say anything about betrayal at all. Alright, I bet the servants will, uh, rat us out, so to say. More cutscene time. Oh, okay, I should have probably done kill. He found our man. Even after six months... We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. Can't you can talk more when you've rested. Can I take your beer? <laughs> through the month of raid. Or rain. Have you talked to Piero yet? Shut up! We left for you on your way out of Coleridge Prison. Oh. I'll have to thank him. Yep, let me just take your uh, monies. Because none of those bottles are worth anything. I might want to turn my sensitivity up. But it'll be fine. I just can't 360 or 180 properly. Yeah, the fact that I can look through these keyholes doesn't really speak well. I feel like this is eventually going to go south. So this, uh, it's battery for the light post. That's not functional. River traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. Well, we certainly can't go for being violated now, can we? Uh, bad comments. Uh, so Piero should be inside of here. Oh, the door's open on the other side. Well, okay. I felt like it was gonna be a thing of he's just staring back at me through the keyhole. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. With just a drill press. No, no actually it's other tools. Cannot happen now the tank of whale oil's run out. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Piero's request is denied. Piero, no. I <laughs> Piero, no. I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal? Tivian ore? What's wrong with the metals and crystal? King's... King Sparrow feathers? If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the academy everything you needed was paid off by tariff and handed out willy-nilly, but this is my bar. 
or what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building material, and everything else, so you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city's in ruins, so no one is going to miss any of the odd crap you seem to need. Excerpt from a series of newspaper articles from Prominent Natural Philosophers by Piero Joplin. Joplin? Joplin? It is through no fault of my own that the average citizen has expressed... Oh my god, this is long. Has expressed a preference for Sokolov's elixir over my own formula, sold as Piero's remedy. An aim I did not choose if you must know the truth. The public has spoken its usual message of idiocy, spending their coin as a means of selecting Sokolov's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal if not superior. Much has been made over the popularity much has been made over the popularity of these concoctions as a means of resisting this remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because this strain works with an efficiency we have not seen in the history of the Empire. This plague, now making its way through the city of Dunwall, is unrivaled in its effectiveness. I have studied it within the blood of those so afflicted, and it is nearly perfect. Elegant, in fact. And while it is true that Piero's remedy and Sokolov's elixir are known to protect the body against the plague equally, my own has properties, not fully understood, which relate to the mind itself and the spirit. And it is in this way that my form formula wins out. Here is where one should pay attention to, these, to this contest. For you see, Sokolov's elixir, with its emphasis on the brute animal body, is a is a crass goo better suited for livestock. The subtle and sec secret variants in the key ingredients making up Piero's remedy ensure that it works on the higher functions that separate humankind from the mindless, blue-jawed hagfish swimming in the Renhaven River. Well, he's heated about that one. Ooh, medicinal herbs. Money. Uh, that's health. Yeah. What else do I have to read around here? Grindstone. Yay! Making noise! <laughs> I'm a toolsman! Ooh, I'll take. Oh wow! I just so <laughs> I just sold your map. How does this make you feel, sir? And you're still holding that thing. I should probably go get you your explosive whale oil. Um, isn't this a thing? If I remember. Piero's door to nowhere. The door to nowhere has proven to be a safety hazard. What? What? But for me, this project is an endless source of inspiration. With the proper application of energies, I believe I can transform the door frame into a window of sorts, one that will allow a traveler to cover the distance from my workshop to some distant, arbitrary point in a single step. So I'm assuming that's how you go back to older levels. Currently, the step leads to a sheer drop straight down into the courtyard. What a time! It will bridge gaps that will boggle the mind. Such work is many years away, to be sure. But if I survive this plague, I'm sure to succeed. Congratulations. Aww. Just books. It's a copper pot. I can sell a copper pot. Ooh, or I can push the copper pot. Oh my god. Excerpt from a manual on... New City Watch Procedures. Commissioned by the Lord Regent in the face of the growing plague crisis, the dead counter is a position that will only be given to officers, usually of junior or middle grades, and <laughs> seniors are like, nope, I don't want that. In most matters of edict or curfew enforcement, these officers will defer to the acting officer on duty. However, any dead counter will have command in situations related to the plague and the handling of the dead, including those with late-stage plague symptoms, called weepers in common parlance. So, oh, that's going to be fun when I find one. Starting in the month of rain, interested officers may apply for the test and, if accepted, for the two-week training tour. Uh, they'll likely get the plague during that, I almost guarantee you. Pay will be administered in coins and rations of elixir at one and one-half normal pay grade. Oh, so it's a 1.5 pay grade. That's awesome. Failed experiments. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Except from a series of lectures on natural philosophy by Piero Joplin. Of course, I have attempted to improve upon Sokolov's designs. Of course! And why not? After all, it is likely that his thinking was influenced in some small way by our time together at the Academy. We are all part of a community, striving to unknot the mysteries of the cosmos. Even those among us who possess the greatest minds are often led to a fruitful line of consideration by, how does one say it, our intellectual 
subordinates. Sokolov is no exception to this, despite the glamour of genius he has cast over the aristocracy. So pretty much, you believe you're a genius. Then again, you are thinking about magic at this point, so uh, I'll believe you. And further, it is true that many of my experiments have failed. No need to gossip about it behind my back in your social clubs and in the very chambers of the academy itself. Great ambition requires risks. You may laugh at now at my door to nowhere, but someday you will not. My, your children will likely see it as commonly as you see the electric lamps facing our streets at night. No, not facing. Lighting our streets at night. But a few short years ago, you would have laughed at Sokolov's arc pylon or wall of light. Your laughter, your condescending smiles, they're nothing but evidence of your own limited imagination. Man. Man, this guy likes to write. Excerpt from the notes of a natural philosopher aboard a whaling ship. This is probably where he got his very explosive fuel. Remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variance in physiolo physiology. I almost said physiology, because I don't know. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tivia, the crew hauled aboard a female, some 42 feet in length. I estimated she weighed 35 tons and the ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night with her thrashing. Okay. By candlelight, I took her apart, sketching and oh my god, I took her apart, taking sketching and taking notes. Against her bellowing, I cut into the massive tentacles around her mouth. Within, I found row upon row of teeth and a baleen running along the upper jaw. Through this broom-like structure, I assumed she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed. This is a whale, right? Yeah, this should be a whale. But why does it have tentacles? What strange creature have you made up, game? Can I just drop it down on- oh, there's more to read. Uh, so those are shiny. This isn't. Except from the founder of the Greaves Whale House. So this is the reading episode, guys, by Ebenezer Greaves. Out at sea, they secure the beast with hooks, with lines cast from the main ship and from several smaller boats. Buoys keep the whale from diving deep. Once it's caught, a larger hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They... They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them onto the deck, then lift into the scaffolding over the head. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to port in Dunwall, where the crew works on the great creature, slicing off the fattiest parts while it still lives. Okay, then. This is whale oil tax. Whale oil refilling station. Silklov no, no longer has the upper hand with regard to supplies of whale oil. The good admiral has paid for the installation of my own system, which will enable me to work in this place. The oil tank dispenser, when activated, will produce an empty vessel for filling. When the empty tank is held near the oil tank refill dump, the magnetic attractor should take the tank and lock it into the in the correct configuration. Using the lever will begin the refilling process. Once refilling is completed, the tank can be removed and placed in service. Extreme caution must be used in handling the fuel tanks. They are quite unstable. The system is sound and well engineered. It appears that the Greaves Oil Company has done something correctly for once. Ooh. The Academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy. Body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase that one on the is over a, a long tank. period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities subject to the necessary plans. So, he wanted to experiment on a man for several years. I'm assuming a man, because they probably wouldn't use one. Okay. Now to not drop it, and not throw it. Perfect. Now plug it in. I really want to know what would happen Just if I did. Just get near the receptacle. Magnetism will do the rest. Just get in there. I was really wanting Perfect. to drop I'll probably drop Thank one later. You. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You need one more wanted home. man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask, 
feeling terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Center lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Hmm. <laughs> no. Piero, no. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Uh, I don't really want crossbow bolts. I don't really plan on a trap that can be placed on nearly any surface. That's kind of weird. Uh, no, I'll pick up bullets off of someone else. Allows you to rewire circuitry and turn security camera systems to your advantage. Oh, that's... Ooh. I'd prefer to get upgrades to usable tanks. That's always the way I play. Crossbow accuracy. Um... Ah. Corvo's pistol. Loss pistol upgrades and adds a new new short range spread damage. So it gives it a shotgun effect. That's interesting. Magazine reload, okay, spring raider. Okay, sword crossing. Makes this sword more effective when locking blades and pushing against an enemy. Equipment upgrades. Mask optics. Allows you to magnify oh bullet capacity. Uh bolt grenade. Bone charm. Uh, give me that. Thanks. Uh, I feel like I'm more likely to use bolts than I am other things. Then again, I feel like I'm going to get money up a lot. And I'm not going to have too much use for it. So I think I'm going to get bolts upgrade. Because I'm more likely to try to distract people than shoot them. Because I want to be stealthy. Okay. And now we don't have money. Good. I hope I didn't need to spend that on anything else. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Uh... Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. Well, it's not really... Oh, craftsman tutorial? Piero can craft and upgrade your gear with money you collect. Bringing collected blueprints to Piero will allow you to unlock new upgrades to buy. Okay. So I need to find blueprints. I'm assuming they're scattered about. Oh, where are you going? Sir? As I was saying, I feel like it's not that I know best. It's more like I could kill you all if I felt like it. So you're going to listen. Oh, come on. Sir? So, uh, that's probably where the door comes out. Somewhere up there. I already looked through here. Yeah, I, th I think this is an exploring episode. What's down here? More sewers? Sewers? Yay, sewers! Aha! He's, he should probably just take that for his own use. Then again, he's getting refuels, so... Yeah, I can't get in here yet. Why did I expect to be, see rats? I keep expecting there to be like a scare or something when I look through a keyhole. That's why I don't like doing it that much. But it's better than being scared. Is better than uh, walking out into whatever it is. Yes, very much so. But no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. Okay. If the admiral trusts him, then so will I. Aww. Thanks, guys. The admiral served in the navy under the empress. But something happened with the Lord Regent that drove the Admiral out. If I understand it right. Uh. Okay, so this is bed. Bottles? 
I'm just looking for money. Hey, money. 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 I'm stealing this guy's money. Uh. Ooh. More story. Have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which, Wallace. Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. <sighs> well, I'll begin again tomorrow. <laughs> wow. You don't know how hard my life is. Speaking of which, get me more alcohol. Oh, hey, key. Hubmaster room key. Hello. Exploring. This is what I do before I go to bed every night. Oh, book. A gaffer's tale. Excerpt from the well-traveled, from the travel journal of a whaler in his final years. A Gaffer's Tale, Volume 2, or A Gaffer's Final Passage. After more than a quarter of a century, I am done with whaling. Too broken to continue. Ugh. I've seen all the corners of the Isles and made more coin than most men see in a lifetime. But it's all gone. I've lived through an emperor and watched his daughter take the throne. Fair young empress she was, but slain so young. Everything beautiful comes to die. I've eaten in every port of the known world and sailed in the loneliest waters you could imagine. I've seen the cliffs around Pandesia. Even the best of it doesn't give me an ounce of joy. The years come back across my dreams as a line of butchered bodies long, sleek, and singing among the waves under the moonlight, only to be speared by ugly, weather-scarred men who knife each other for a good pair of boots. Each year, I had less time to come home. My tongue forgot the language of small chatter, and those who lived in the cities thought me odd. My sister, Nina, hardly knew what to say to me during our visits. When she lost her business to the Lord Regent's crooked barrister, I was a hundred miles east of Morley, gaff, frozen, gaff hand frozen from the sleet as we tracked the first bull whale we'd seen in months. I helped her as much as I could, but Nina died in the early days of the plague. None of it mattered. If I'm jaded and bitter, it's because this industry has taken away my dreams. The world has beaten me. Ooh. Log entry 1-4. Seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. The Pendleton's voting block and my military connections. All we've lacked is the ability to reject lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible... Ah, to the point. We need a man who can kill the bastards for us. Corbo is more than capable of that, I have no doubt. End ball. Is this off? Switch. Switch, where the hell is the... Good job. It has been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeed in getting the packages delivered. Piero sent spent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass-produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place as a dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Coldridge? And if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of 1 in 5. Hey, thanks, buddy. Excerpt from the Travel Journal of a Young Whaler. Of uh, the Young... W oh, so he is a whaler. Okay. Gaffer's Tale, Volume 1. Or... A gaffer's early adventures. My sister Nina and I left Tivia together, saying goodbye to our aunt, the woman who had raised us since childhood. Leaving behind our home city of Yarrow and the cold but beautiful white landscapes we had always known, we boarded a ship for Dunwall. Our parents had left us with a sizable inheritance, and we spent half of this getting to the capital city and establishing a small import shop dedicated to Tivian furs. <sighs> Once I'd helped Nina establish the business, I was free to pursue my dream. Signing in... <sighs> Signing in... Signing on with a whaling ship was the most exciting thing I'd ever done, and I saw it as a means to an end. Someday, I would captain my own crew and eventually own a fleet of similar vessels. With tears in her eyes, Nina kissed me farewell, and I did not see her again for many months. As an apprentice to the gaffer, I got to see the tracking and killing of the great beasts up close. Nothing had ever fired my spirit so, as wind and pounding waves, racing after a wounded whale, being pulled by a skein of cables embedded in its thick flesh. I changed more in those first seven months than I had in the previous seven years. Whaling was beginning to put its mark on me so that Nina barely recognized me when I returned, tanned and sinewy with muscle. Weather creases already wrinkling the corner 
darkness out of my eyes, but she could see that I was filled with joy, having found my purpose. Oop. Hey, Pouch, how are you? I bet they didn't think I was going to steal everything from them. Except from a book on naval history. While each of the Isles has some form of naval fleet, none is more envied than that of Gristol, with its long, proud history of great ships and the admirals who command them. Boys come of age in the cities of Gristol, hoping to someday captain such a ship, and family dynasties are made by those captains who track down infamous, pir infamous pirates or crush seditious uprisings, as during the Morley Insurrection. In times of war and peace, Gristol continues to innovate at sea. The ship designs of Anton Sokol of himself now represent the highest standard in the whaling trade, allowing crews to haul their kill up over the deck and begin their butchery and processing, even as, as the ship returns to Dunwall. The crews can be seen working on their latest whale as the ship moves slowly up the Rinhaven River, coming to dock with one of the powerful warehouse companies such as Greaves Whaling House, suspended in the rigging overhead and backlit by the setting sun. A, sil a silhouette of one of these creatures makes a moving sight as it cruises its final resting place in the industrial heart of the capital city. Man, I am like <laughs> getting worse and worse at reading. So that room's done. 203. Attention Dunwall citizens. Lady Emily Colwyn was abducted six months ago during her mother's terrible murder. Anyone with information leading to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved late empress is required to speak to the city watch at once. Hmm. Harpooner songs. No, I'm not read I'm not singing it. Uh Yeah, no. There's way Uh yeah. Do the drunken whaler. Uh, feed them to the hungry rats for dinner. What? Is that really? <laughs> uh, this end is talk. Okay, that's talking about the whaler itself. So they kill their drunks and kill their whales. Oh nope. Okay. Nope. They kill everything. They just kill the guy. Wow. Kill your drunks. That's an interesting idea. Wouldn't work. People would get kind of upset at dying when they're drunk. Oh Ooh. my! You startled me. Ah, you could only be Corvo. I suppose you're practicing for your... Well, your job? You're much younger than I expected. Do make yourself at home. Terrible you got blamed for the death of the Empress, rest her spirit. I'm sorry it's so dark. We can't risk being seen. It is a bit romantic, though, isn't it? Oh, good God. I have my beds upstairs. So I am going in the right direction. Attention all citizens. Curfew extends from sundown to sunrise unless you are otherwise authorized. Violators will be subject to interrogation and detained when necessary. Remember, the boldest measures are the safest. Can I destroy that? Except from a series of overseer invocations by High Overseer Abram Templeton. And I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand as a righteous force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite our... ourselves. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together, we will serve as a rod to those who would stray from the herd. For the foggy gray wastes of the outsider, we will burn a bright fire with our virtuous actions so that others will not lose their way and to those who choose to wander to wander beyond the holes walls of our home not halls eh, either would work in far places we will strike at them swiftly before they whisper to their neighbors filling their hearts with strain strangeness and doubt eat a pair can I get some money from out here money money I feel like I'm gonna use like all these passageways later Please, money, money. Uh, electricity. No, no, no. Does not appear to be the case. Oh, see, there's the door. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to be using this travel route later to uh, 
get around where I need to. Definitely getting used that later. They're always going on about how oh, we shouldn't be found. I really hope. Ah, uh, okay. I need to go back upstairs. And so this was the second. Was this just the second floor? Holy crap! So is there a generator? Freaking shut up already! Has been added to the evacuation list. The Weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. Okay, so I didn't finish. Ex I didn't actually explore outside. Assuming no, that's not opened. I cannot open that. <laughs> Now I'm the one adding voice acting, because, uh, this guy isn't. Oh my gosh, this is actually pretty damn cool. I'm assuming I can go in the water, but that's probably not a good idea, because somehow I doubt they put anything out there. So, uh, how are you doing, Piero? Right now, Samuel. I once served under Admiral Havelock. Captain Havelock then. I don't know if he remembers me. But I fear it's rude to ask. I don't want to embarrass him. Except from a book by on the far continent, Pandesia. At the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandesian continent as a place of wonder, where all of life has entwined and blossomed across ocean or er, eons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civil world. The overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman, by contrast, talk of horror and heresies, of cults of submerged Submen engaged in brutal, perverse rituals. The few who have traveled to the far continent and come back to the Isles, those who have actually touched the soil there, have returned with notes that describe vast deserts, deep jungles, and outlandish, outlandish creatures that defy belief. Once in a generation, a great effort is mounted to build a colony there, in hopes of this someday growing into a port city to rival Dunwall itself. But to date, these attempts have all ended in madness and failure. Okay. I notice how there's empty bottles everywhere, but no dr uh, full bottles. Which makes me kind of sad, because I kind of want to drink. Uh, but I not shouldn't. Uh, nope, drinking is bad, kids. Uh, is this actually an, like an open world setup? Because that would be really cool. But the fact that it showed missions already speaks to me that it is definitely not the case. Uh, yeah, I, somehow I doubt they're going to put anything underwater of any use. Ow! Son of a bitch. Ow, 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 ow. That's how they keep you in line. I see. Screw yourself, piranha. Good. Alright, so they put piranhas in the water. I, uh, okay, that didn't freak me out as much as I thought it might. Because I hate, hate, hate things in the water. They're like the bane of me. Uh, ooh, no. Uh-oh. Nope. Yeah. Nope. I'm gonna stop playing around with the water. I thought I might be able to get into that area, but nope. Oh, is this another entrance? Oh. Cool. So this is what's down below. River traffic is forbidden from landing yeah, shut up. We already heard this one. Now you're just repeating. I hate you. Oop. Coin! Yay! Uh huh. So this is where we were. We walked out this door. Can I push this barrel over? Darn you. They said I had a noise for barrels. Why didn't they use that on the chairs? They'd just be like, hey, you can't break this. Oh, hi there. Sorry. I'm gonna 
closed bathroom door behind me. Because, jeez. Uh, no, I didn't want to read that. Alright, excerpt from a longer work of fiction. Finding my way to the feeble light of the dying fire, I saw her working. A large needle moved in her hand, following precise esoteric patterns, knots and loops of seamstress craft from ancient days. Beneath her needle, his body clenched and shuddered, shaking the wooden table. A morbid fascination pushed me closer, until she turned her blank face towards me. Resting the needle in his flesh, with her fine tone, she addressed me. So you are the lover, I presume. You too have been unfaithful, and it is now your turn to be mended. Okay. Excerpt from a theater play. Lord Nathan Bale, shaking with outrage. Oh, wait. I didn't... That's just still narrative. Lord Nathan Bale, shaking with outrage. How dare you, sir! Clothed so in my very home! I should hand you over to the watch, depraved Tivian. Prince Kalisar, moving closer. That's a harsh welcome for royalty, my lord. Your daughter treated me with much more hospitality. Alas, she has gone out for the evening, leaving me all alone. Lord Nathan Bale, stammering, studying the younger man before him. W what are you doing? <laughs> I am great at this, aren't I? Leave this house! G go back to your frozen wasteland pain. Pale rascal. Oh, you rascal. Prince Kowser, smiling coyly, reaching out. No need for anger between us, Lord Bale. Is it so wrong for me to be here? As I've proven, I've developed an affinity for you and your family. Lord Nathan Bale, gasping. Oh my. Kowser, your skin is so warm. It burns. Heh. <laughs> he thought I was, he was actually snow. Like, th this man has snow for skin? just because he comes from somewhere cold. Gaffer's Tale. Oh, hey, so this is the, uh... Oh, no, this is Volume 2. Excerpt from the travel journal of a whaler in his final years. Gaffer's Tale, Volume 2, or A Gaffer's Final Passage. After more than a quarter of a century, I'm done with whaling. Too broken to continue. I've seen all the corners of... Wait, this is the same thing. Hey! Sir! That's why I thought it is the same thing. Second floor! And yes, this is a long episode. Because I. Huh? Hey, Wallace. Please follow me to your quarters. What? No, I'm going up. That's not my quarters at all. I'm at the top. I want to be on top. Oh, hey, this looks like somewhere. This looks like a door to potentially nowhere. I can't actually lean over the edge. That's messed up. I can't clip. Meh. I feel like I could kill this man. Oh wow, that is a bloody blade. I've what? Corvo, you're an assassin. Be professional. Uh, Lydia, I don't want you here. I don't want you in my bedroom. Get out. Even if it is the attic. Uh, oh. Well, that'll be useful. Ooh, the bell tower. I was looking at this thing when it was coming in. I was very interested. I knew I was going to be climbing all over it later. Uh, that doesn't look... Oh. I don't like heights entirely much either. Just to let you know. Uh, No, I can't do that. Just to let you guys know, I don't like heights that much either, so this is a little bit stressful. Especially... Is this a wall? That's a wall, okay. Especially when I'm freaking doing stupid things like normal. Uh, whose bedroom is this? Wow, they got a lot of things cooking. Except... Uh, sex is comment inserted. Excerpt from a book on the celebrations and holidays. At the end of every year, after the last day of the month of songs, we begin the fugue... Fuge feast. And the new year has not started, and thus the time that follows it's outside the calendar. A period of celebration and feasting begins, during which the people abandon the very practice that keep them whole and healthy over the year. Many leave their homes, euphoric with spirits or potent herbs. Some paint their faces or wear masks to conceal themselves as they pursue their passions without reservation. When the right cosmological signs are observed and it's time for the calendar to begin anew, the sitting high overseer calls for the hymn of atonement and the fig. The Fugue Feast ends. 
Families return to their homes, wives to their husbands, enemies put down their weapons, and fires are extinguished. No complaint is given for those who have wronged others, deviated from ancient codes, or discarded oaths. For this time during the astrological alignment does not exist and is not recorded. The following day starts the new year, marked on the first day of the month of Earth, as it has always been. I'm glad. I'm going to be glad when we don't have to read all these, but I'm going to get as many of these out of the way as possible before it. Call to the sp oh money, money, and a book. Trials of Aptitude. Excerpt from the book on the esoteric practices of the Abbey. Once a child shows the proper inclination, he is marked. Overseers are assigned to study the subject surreptu surreptitiously in order to determine whether this inclination is supported by cosmological conditions and other signs ongoing throughout the year. At the end of the cycle, those befitting further testing are removed from their homes some hours before dawn and must begin the march to an outpost outside the city. There, the children undergo ritual preparations and evaluation until the fifth, the last night of the month of rain, when they make a pilgrimage to Whitecliff. During an elaborate ceremony, it is determined which of the children will become overseers and which must be put down. Yeah, so we steal you from your homes if we feel like you just might have a chance. And then we kill you if you actually turn out not to. Except from a great work of fiction. Early chapters. My stomach twisted as the engines of the odd vessel roared louder. It was the creation of Orcado, third prefect from the Academy of Natural Philosophy. He was exhilarated, savoring each of the, s the small craft's undulations. That almost sounds dirty. Orcado pulled a lever and a great gout of smoke surrounded us. The smell of burning whale oil grew unbearable as the machine propelled itself upward. But you loved the smell. I was too afraid to look through the window, which suddenly didn't feel thick enough. As if knowing my thoughts, Overseer Brynn looked at me and smiled. Recite some of the litany, my pupil. It will protect your heart from the turpitude of the void on our way to the outer spheres. Yeah, you guys don't actually go to outer space. If you do, I will be kind of mad. Um, I'm assuming that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, but there's a doorway. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I mean, gotta find out if there's fall damage, right? Yeah, I can definitely get back. <gasps> there's fall damage. So, what is death like? I really hope that doesn't put... <sighs> oh! <gasps> I love you, game! Oh my god, thank you! I'm just gonna read... Pop these in my notes. Because it got everything else for me. Okay, I don't need the wheel tutorial. Um, I'm still going to prefer crossbow. Why? Yeah. I just want to do that. Close, open that. Close that. And now we're going to try again. Save here. Don't land down there. Land here. Because just, I'm assuming going outside the map where they want you to be is instant death. Just like the piranhas would eat you alive. And there's nothing over here. Wonderball! I died for nothing. But isn't that how it always goes? Blood from the eyes. Does not sound good. Oh, hey, this is probably going to be another one of those walls. How many of these are you going to put around here, Perry? Pierre? Pierre? Jeez. So I have the pub master key. I know I picked that up. Yeah, I don't care if I should be going to sleep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, what's out here? Same thing. I didn't mean to ask what's out here. Hey, Celia. What's up? Need some apricot. I still want to take out your shed. What in the blazes was that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't expect it to have that much of an effect on him. He just like, 
<laughs> that was great. Uh, I'll probably do that again. Or I'll hit other people. Just see what they say. Actually, will he try to kill me if I hit him enough? There's coins I need to stable. Can I get more? More? He. he. You lost your mind. Did, did you do that? Yeah, I did. <gasps> oh. <laughs> uh. Oops. All right. Throwing balls at people will kill them. Oh, okay. You know what? Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. This is lagging. I don't know why. Oh wait, I need, oh, I need to go get those two coins. Crap. Okay. So yeah, that was just that was about as far as I felt before. That was just because. Uh, so yeah, throwing bottles at people isn't always the best idea. I suppose it could uh alert them to presence. Or distract. What? The heck? You don't know what it means to work with a man who stood at the Empress's right hand. Okay. I don't know what that small, like, cutscene thing was for. But I'm gonna go back upstairs. And this is what I was talking about with sensitivity. Okay. Eh, it's also a little bit laggy. Which the sensitivity would help. Okay. This is your room. It was Good God, man. How did you know I was coming? I'm an assassin. No, it was the other guy. Okay, my room. Uh. Huh? Ooh, money. <laughs> Just herbs. Ooh, money. Oh. So I also have a sky axis here. I feel like I'm going to end up crashing down through this at some point. Then again, it's got a metal frame, so... Eh, maybe not. Oh. Oh, can I shoot that down? Please tell me I can shoot that down. Yes! Ha ha! <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Oh, this is definitely going to be one that you need a wall for. Uh, that, that, I, I like what just happened. I have to admit, I did not like hearing that guy talk repeatedly, especially when he started looping what he was saying. But I feel like I didn't get, oh. Hup! Oh, I got it. Yeah, parkour. Okay. Nope, that wasn't going to work. I'm assuming all those are going to be locked, so I'm just going to hop in through this window. Hey, baby, what you doing in the bathroom? Okay, you're dusting, as always. Close all the doors, and just go sprinting up. So you going to be like, hey, this is your room again. This is your room, sir. Alright, so I think that is a good place to end this episode, because I've gotten... A whole lot of reading out. Okay, I should probably save before I do anything stupid. Oh, coin. Now I will save. Second coin. Now I will save. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's going to be those individual coins that screw me. Um, so yeah, I got a lot of notes. Or I should say a lot of books out of the way. A few audiographs I can listen to again. And a few notes. Cool. So that'll be all for this episode, guys. And the next episode, I'm gonna go to sleep. Give me an option. I'm staying awake. No, I wanna go to sleep now. So, uh, yeah, that'll be all. And I will see you all next time for Dishonored. Goodbye.